Hello, in this uh, video I need to talk about um, C++ programming and I need to talk about uh, one of the most and the main feature that makes C++ special from C, normal C, which is the class. So, we need to talk about class or classes, okay? I need to, to, to show you how to declare a class in any compiler. Okay, now we need to, talk, to, to, to write a declaration of class. You must write a key, this keyword class and any na name of the, your class name. Choose your name, any name of class. And here will be the, your body of the class. Okay, and here so you just void main. And you write your program here. Okay. Uh, I need to talk something about uh, here. As we said, this is the body of the class of class plus this name. Uh, sometimes inside this class, in this body, for example, if we say, for example, class uh, name or any name, as I said, you will see some keywords called private, private. Or public or protected okay uh, I'll show you what does mean by these keywords uh, in the in the exa an example okay and we end it like now so it sometimes you find before this semicolon here you say uh, name of some objects here okay you will see an example to illustrate these ideas okay For example, if we have this void main here, we need to define a class. Class, for example, I need to give it a name color. I suggest before you go any further, just make a, a debug for this and see if everything is going okay. All right, it's it's working. Mm -hmm. Just give it a private, private. This specifier uh, used for access data. I'll show you how. For example, if I have a private members um, x1 and x2, for example, and we have public members. For example, I have void function function one. Any name of function. Give some integer, for example, here. Okay. And I need to show you, uh, tell you something here. This called data members because it's an integer or any uh, variable. For example, if there's any variable type double float any or character called member data members and any functions inside the class called a member function okay okay as i told you i show you through an example uh, what does mean by a public means this function could be accessed from anywhere in your program you can call this function from your main directly okay private you can't call you can't use this data use this uh, data or you it may not just have uh, only a data member, it could be some functions here. For example, I'll show you this. If I get function 2, function 2, and it is private, so you can't call it from main, but you can call it from a public function. So public function could be accessed from main, and a public function can use these private members. Okay? I repeat, public functions which is inside the class color can be accessed from anywhere in the program from main or from any other public functions but and it can it can be accessed from here um, this first and this because this is a private member we can't access from a void we can just access from for example a public uh, function okay as well as these uh, variables it's used because it's a private, it could be accessed from public, okay? 
I'll show you protected uh, in the next lectures because it's an advanced topic which is used for inheritance and so okay okay now we need to show you how to to define the, the body for these uh, uh, functions here just because it's void type or turn of void to nothing void name of the class color and you make like this function funko okay integer see out mm. let's say I'll just leave it to don't need to pass any value here just need to show you this idea hello this is function one public okay before, before we go any further just make to show if everything is going okay okay now every class if you need to call this class or use any of uh, its public uh, members or you need to define objects it's the main feature here so color color for example give it uh, some object one object one now i define an object now i need to access this function if we just make this object one dot function one because it's public yeah it could be x and it will print it goes here a different object and call function one so it will print this line as you can see this uh, as you can see sorry as you can see here this is function one public okay okay now we need to define the body for the, the function this function the private function okay this private because we have private and public it's the same way it's function two I have a problem with my keyboard, sorry. To this function to which is private. Just make run. Uh, so please uh, make, make this object one for function two. It could be x here. This make an error because, as I said, this is a private function which cannot be accessed from any from void main just be accessed from <clears throat> this function it could be accessed from this here okay just uh, if i back make it as a function one so it could take it could call this function make run to see okay this is function one as you can see now i need inside this function one call this function to call this member okay for example <laughs> okay so what what i need to make now just call the private function from a uh, public function to see if it's working fine okay just call the function function two this way and control nine as you can see this function one public this function uh, sorry it's Okay. this function one public this function two private just need to make it more clear need to make an end line here okay so it's working well this function two private i hope this idea is very clear how to access uh, how to use private and uh, public specifiers here it could be manage your program how to use uh, how to use the, your private members and uh, public members public functions okay and uh, as uh, we can see in this video we define a class 
this is a declaration of class and we make an object for this class okay you can make uh, as much object as you need each object have this um, can have can has these um, these members okay and that's all for now for lecture one see you next time and we'll take an examples and go for many other topics in c++ thank you for watching see you next time